If you're in Melbourne for a holiday or you live in Melbourne, you have to check out the Mornington Peninsula Hot Springs. About an hour and a bit away from the CBD, this is a great spot for a little day trip or even a nice little date idea. With so many bathing and wellness experiences, there's a range of options including massages, dining and of course bathing options. In this video though, I'm looking at purely at the bathing options because, well, the massage packages can be pretty expensive and this is more of a little affordable type video if you want to say so. Now, before I get into the video, don't forget to like, subscribe. I'll be doing a lot more travel videos. Um, I've got a lot more content coming along the way. So don't forget to lock that in below. But let's get straight into the video otherwise. As mentioned, it's around an hour and a bit away from the CBD, but I plan for a 90 minute drive just in case. Um, I recommend going early or booking an earlier time slot. We did a 9 a.m. time slot, which was kind of already getting crowded. And by the time we were leaving, it was super crowded. And this was on a 12 p.m. in the afternoon on a Saturday. So it's probably the most crowded we're going to get, to be honest. So in my opinion, I'd pick a weekday if possible as well. If you want to, you know, not bump into less people. And we had a friend mention that a weekday was much better versus a weekend. It's also much easier, to be honest, to park because in the morning, it's less, there's more parking spots, obviously. So once again, if you're going to go there, I recommend a weekday, an earlier time slot. Um, so, you know, you can enjoy yourself with less people. Okay, so bathing wise, there are two main areas. It gets kind of, it got kind of confusing, so I had to double check on this. So you had basically one called the bathhouse area, which is kind of a main public area where you can bring kids along. And the other one is a spa dreaming center. Basically, no kids and you have to be at above the age of 16. So obviously, if you're bringing a your family with kids, you can only do the bathhouse area, so just keep that in mind. So there are two kind of main packages, There's a couple of other packages, but I'm just gonna go through these two because one of the packages is a one hour experience in the bathhouse area, and honestly, you need more than an hour. So I'm just gonna compare these two. So one is called the Reset or of Sight Bathing or Bathing. Basically, you have access to everything. Really good if you're bringing a partner and no kids, um, because then you can ac have access to a whole thing. And then the other package is the, um, the, I guess the bathhouse house package, or I think what they call it is the bath house revitalized here. Yeah, I can see here. Um, basically, this is just to explore the bath house. You can bring your kids along for this one, um, but it does get kind of squishy. So just be aware that there's a lot more people in this package or this area versus the spa dreaming center because, you know, there's less kids. Um, and it's a lot, you know, the spa dreaming center is more expensive because you're buying a more, you're paying double the price for that. But in my opinion, if you're willing to fork out the money, get the spa dream or the reset package and check out the spa dreaming center. If you have a group of, you know, like two couples, four people, you can pretty much, not saying you should do this, but you can pretty much go into the bath together as a, you know, four, four kind of people group. And basically you can have the, have the bath to yourself. And obviously keep in mind not to hog the baths, maybe 10 to 15 minutes max. But honestly, it's a lot better experience than, you know, crowding around with 20 people in one bath. But remember the bathhouse area, the baths are a lot bigger. It's like probably I'd say can fit to 10 to 20 people. So honestly, it's a lot bigger than, you know, smaller baths. So keep that in mind. Depends what you want. Depends if you want to save money. But once again, both options are good. We did use the reset package to go into the bathhouse area to check it out. As you can see from the clips kind of um, showing throughout this video. But in my opinion, um, get the reset package if you have the money. Otherwise, just go for the other one um, if you want to be a bit more budgety. Okay, so I did go through some of this um, already, but let's go through the experience a bit more. So in the spa dreaming center, you have basically no kids. So obviously no loud noises from the kids. Really a lot more serene and calm kind of vibes. A lot more adults, a lot more partner adults, like um, people bringing their partners along. Um, a couple, you know, with friends and stuff as well. As I mentioned, you can bring like four to six people and then kind of just hold one buff. To be honest, you could do that. Um, and I don't think it's that bad, but it's a lot more quiet um, and composed, I guess you could say. Now, through the options, but uh, baths wise, I didn't remember that many. I think I think there was a maximum of maybe like 10 in total, um, 10 kind of options with um, bathing. And then you have like ice baths and then you have a sauna and a, I'm sorry, a steam room. So honestly, um, not too bad. There's a lot more experiences. I think this area, so you have massages. And you can also lie down on a hammock and you know eat some food and order some food. So honestly, I think this area probably takes a maximum of, for us, it took like two hours. 
Um, if you're taking your time, honestly, just take your time. Don't rush through anything and you know have a good conversation with friends and obviously you can bring your phone along and you know use your phone but keep mindful of how long you can use each bath or just keep mindful you know don't just hog a bath for like two hours right so honestly a really nice calm experience now on the other x spectrum the bathhouse here is a lot more louder a lot more kids running around and it's just a lot more people honestly a lot more talking um so it's a lot really vibey right so honestly some people might like that more but we honestly as because we were going as a couple um it was a lot better just to use the spa dreaming center i think in the bathhouse we did test out the bars like it's the same it's kind of very similar um and honestly it's not too bad people wise but we were there at the busiest period um so honestly i think if we went on a weekday it wouldn't be as bad to be honest so honestly um if you just want to use the bathhouse then go for it as well but we probably said for, for the maximum one hour but we probably only tested like i think 25 percent of the baths um so honestly if you're there for you know you could be, you could obviously be there for a couple of hours if you tested every bath. Now for the baths itself, they range in temperatures. You have ones that I think around 32, 34 degrees, and then ones that go pretty hot up to the 38 mark. Um, so honestly, I prefer the hotter ones or 30, maybe 34, 36 was a nice middle range. Uh, my partner really liked the 36 to 38 range. It was a lot hotter for me. Not not a big fan. Um, I forgot if it was at 38 to 40, but possibly. So. But if you really like that, then go for it. But also, you know, ice baths and, you know, ice uh, rooms as well. So if you really enjoy that, then go for it as well. I think it's really nice to kind of like go in a hot one and then go in a cold and then go in a hot again. But for me, I personally don't like cold as much. But if you're really into it, go for it. Um, but as mentioned, there are that op there's that option as well because I know some people really like that stuff. Um, so yeah. Overall, it was a really nice experience. I know I don't want to drag out this video too long because honestly, the main thing you want to kind of figure out is if you want to use it, just go to the bathhouse or you want to go to the spa dreaming center. In my opinion, get the reset package if you have the money and you, you're budgeting towards it. It's really nice to just have access to every bath, kind of you can walk around wherever you want. And you know, if you want some peace and serenity, then go into the um, spa dreaming center. If you want to like, you know, vibe a bit more then go to the bathhouse area. And there are some food options along the way, but I, my opinion, um, probably stick away from it because the food there um, is quite pricey I feel like in my opinion at least so honestly I would probably just you know do a 9 a.m. and then at the 12 p.m. mark just drive back to Melbourne or drive back nearby and just get some lunch nearby honestly it's probably cheaper uh, but overall really nice experience definitely should try it out if you're in Melbourne it's a must do in my opinion really nice day trip activity as well and it doesn't take up your uh, full day so obviously it just takes up half a day so you can do stuff for your afternoon and night so yeah once again, thanks for checking out the video and don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.